Hey, how's it going, YouTube? My name is Rich, or right away, welcome back to the channel. What I got for you guys today is another Black Ops 3 video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to get headshots easier and how to obtain the diamond camo easier and just to get the dark matter camo a little bit easier. So, if you guys do enjoy today's video, if you guys do, definitely drop a like, guys. 150 likes will be the goal, as well as subscribe if you're new. We are on our way to 10,000 subscribers. And uh, quickly, before the video starts, I want to give a huge thank you to FaZe Carl. If you guys didn't know, I actually made it on on his top five underrated youtubers of the week i was number three and i gained over 1,000 subscribers guys so it's nuts i was at like 8.5 or something like that yesterday and now i'm literally at 9.6k or whatever it's completely insane just a huge thank you to carl man it really does mean a lot i'm about to hit 10k and that's just a huge accomplishment on youtube so so i just wanted to quickly thank carl honestly it means the world to me man um but with that being said uh let's jump right into the video and i'll tell you guys how to get more headshots so the first tip is do not worry about score guys that's very very important because it'll distract you from getting headshots you'll be consistently being like oh i have to worry about my kd i have to worry about getting kills i have to worry about winning the game don't worry about any of that guys literally all you have to do is focus on getting headshots and if you consistently aim for the head you will actually notice a difference in you yourself getting headshots um it's very very crazy i remember when i was trying to go for headshots at first trying to get diamond camo for the smgs i, I was like what am i doing wrong and i found out that i wasn't really like trying to aim for the head so if you can consistently aim for the head you'll actually notice a difference in headshots and you'll see that you actually are getting more so do not worry about score guys because that will also distract you from getting headshots and just consistently aim at the head that's a very very big tip now also guys i get many questions on what game mode you guys should play for trying to get headshots and people say uh play hardcore play domination but the best one to play and i always play this in my road to diamond series and that is free for all free for all is the best game mode to play for getting headshots the reason being is that the free throw spawns are kind of crazy so all you have to do is just kind of stay in your spawn stay in your area you do not have to venture out and you'll consistently get people spawning behind you spawning beside you and nearby you and that'll actually be you know a uh, better for you for trying to get headshots if you're actually familiar with the free throw spawns you can tell where people are going to be and you can actually aim at the head and kind of pre-aim and know where people are at i always do that um i think in the gameplay in the background you'll see i get like 16 headshots i believe i know the free throw spawns and i know where people are going to be consistently so i know that i can aim for the head and uh that zone will always be there so play free for all guys it's easier also another great thing for free for all is that you do not have teammates and that's actually funny to say because you don't have teammates but since you don't have teammates you don't have people you know running in your way and every time you see a person you can know that that's an enemy and you can consistently shoot at him and try to aim for the head you can always know that in free for all Every person you see is going to be an enemy, so you can always try and aim for the head. Now, also, guys, I want to give you a quick class setup because uh, a lot of people ask, you know, what attachments I run for my assault rifles or what attachments I run for my SMGs, what perks, what are, what you know, tacticals, what lethals. So I want to give you guys the best class setup to run while you're going for a headshot. Now, the first thing I recommend you guys doing, and this is for any, you know, particular weapon, uh, SMGs, LMGs, ARs, anything like that, you're going to want to run an optic sight, whether that's reflex sight, whether that's elo sight, whatever you're comfortable with, make sure to run an optic sight because that'll make it very, very easier for you uh, trying to get headshots. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, all you have to do is just aim and kind of line up the dot with the enemy's head and you'll actually get a headshot. It's pretty much that simple. Iron sights, I found a little bit difficult for trying to get headshots, so make sure to run an optic sight. It really does help. Now, for the other attachments, I definitely recommend you guys run grip just so you have that, you know, precise accuracy trying to aim for the head. And the next one is quick draw because when you're actually in gunfights, you're going to want the upper hand on the enemy, so you want to aim in as quick as possible and uh, to try and aim for that headshot. And now the last one, guys, the last attachment I recommend you guys run, and this is probably the most important attachment, and that is high caliber and that'll actually make you guys actually obtain a headshot without high caliber on guys you'll probably notice that you get like two shots to the head and then you'll finish them off in like the the body but if you actually have high caliber on you'll notice that you get headshots much quicker and they'll actually die a lot quicker so make sure to run high caliber guys um it's just headshots to increase damage and that helps a ton now for the lethal i recommend you guys to run a concussion because when you throw the concussion it's much easier to get a headshot on someone as they're stunned so it's just another tactical you know kind of tip that you guys can do um and it's just you just do it self-consciously you just you know throw the concussion grenade whenever you see someone and it's very very easy to get a headshot on someone that's standing still now for the perks guys for perk one i actually have six cents six cents is probably my favorite perk in the actual game and uh, what it does it just displays mini map indicator when enemies are around you so if you know enemies are around you you can tell where they are and just automatically aim for the head and that's just so important so six cents is amazing perk and uh, you guys definitely have to run it now i actually have nothing in perk two i just don't really find anything that great for perk two if anything maybe tracker site just so you can see where the people 
are and their footsteps and everything like that but i really don't recommend that too much now the last perk i recommend you guys run is awareness now if you actually have a headset i actually have the airstro a40s it, i can hear people's footsteps i know exactly where they are and i'll know right when to you know aim for the head it's very very easy to detect where enemies are with awareness now if you don't have a headset i recommend you guys run dead silence so people won't hear you you can sneak up behind people and you can get that headshot a little bit easier so whichever one you prefer awareness or dead silence for perk three you can run and that's pretty much the class setup guys so that's all the tips i have for you guys for trying to get headshots i got consistent comments throughout my whole entire series of road to diamond saying how do you get more headshots and i wanted to finish my series first and then pump out this video so if you guys enjoyed if you guys did definitely drop a like and if all of these tips helped you then make sure to comment in the comment section headshots so i know you guys made it this far into the video and all these tips helped you uh remember make sure to subscribe once again thank you to face carl as well for giving me that shout out and i uh, hope you guys had a great monday and with that being said i'll see you in another video